I stopped smoking cigarettes. Uh, if you don't put them in your mouth and you don't light them, then you're not a smoker. And what I did is I just made a decision that I would st stop smoking. It was probably 25 years ago. And uh, somebody explained to me in a way I understood that it wasn't good for me, and I made a decision. And uh, I decided that no matter how unpleasant the feelings came, how, that it just meant I was doing the right thing. So that if I felt bad for three weeks, I would be free for the rest of my life, and I'd be healthier, and I could taste food better, and I would piss off all the people that said it was hard to quit smoking. And that was motivation enough for me. And, you know, certainly the first couple of days, man, I could really crave cigarettes. And I kept saying to myself, this means I'm doing exactly the right thing. You get the endorphin rush from it, and you move and you go, three weeks, I've only got uh, two weeks now and five days, two weeks and four days. And three weeks later, I barely thought about it, and six months after that, I can't even conceive of smoking a cigarette. And uh, I think most people make these things harder than they are. You know, they, they, they diet and expect not to be hungry. If you're dieting, you're supposed to be hungry. You're dieting. And every time you feel hungry, you should go, man, I'm really dieting. Aren't I doing great? I, I'm starving. I must be doing the right thing. And smoking is like that. And I know they've got patches and all the stuff. I never use any of it with. If somebody comes into me, I tell them, you have to learn to enjoy that you're suffering. Uh, you know, because it means you're doing the right thing, and then you notice three days later you're not quite suffering as much. That means you're really doing the right thing. You're getting it. Then you start looking forward to diminishing, counting the number of times that you crave a cigarette during a day. First it was every minute of every day, and a week later it's a few times during the day. And then it's twice a day, and then you don't think about it for two days. And every time you notice that, you feel better. And that's the magic formula, is to lock your mind, make those big decisions. Everybody's made big decisions. They made a decision they were going to move. They made a decision they'd go to college and they stuck with it. They made a decision they were never going to talk to some guy ever again and stuck to it. We've all made those kind of decisions. They have a certain location in our mind, big pictures to go with it. They need to save themselves not smoking and everybody around them smoking and want to be that person more than they want a cigarette. Do I want to be this person, or do I want this stupid cigarette? And when you switch them, it gets a lot easier.